is Emily, and you are watching a MotionTutor.com video lesson. This lesson is for first graders, and it is addition number stories of numbers that are under 20. After watching this video, be sure to visit MotionTutor.com for learning games and activities relating to this video and other video lessons. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to us so you can be one of the first people to know of any new materials that we create. Okay, let's get to this lesson. Okay, so we have... Let me read this for you guys. There are four birds flying. And we see one, two, three, four. So here are the four birds flying. All right, um, I will say two more join them. So let's get two more birds to join these four. So here's one, and here is two. So remember, there are four birds flying, Two more join them. So, how many birds do we see total that are flying? Uh, let me blur the background so we can see a little better. How many birds are flying? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six birds flying. So it says, now there are six birds flying. So what's happening here is this is the four. So here's the four plus this is the two that joined later and that is equal to six. Four plus two is six. Four birds plus the two birds equals six birds all together. Let's try another one. Um, let me remove these two. We're going to, come on, let's get this. All right, so again, there are four birds flying, but this time, um, let's see, four more join them. So four more birds will be joining these original four. That's one. That's two. That's three. And four. So four more birds join these original four. So now, how many birds are there? Let's see. One, two, three, four, yes. Five, six, seven, eight. So, there are eight birds flying right now. Now there are eight birds flying. So to write this, it's, here's the four, plus four over here, and that is equal to eight total, because we counted eight birds. All right, let's go on to another example. Okay, so we have, we have, there are three basketballs bouncing, and one more is added to them. All right, so let's get one more basketball in here. So here's that one more basketball. So how many basketballs are bouncing in this picture? 
we have one, two, three, four. So now there are four basketballs on the court. Because remember, we had three here. One, two, three, originally. So, we had three over here, plus that one that joined, that rolled in. So, the three plus the one is equal to four, because we counted. One, two, three, four. Three plus one is four. All right, let's get another example. This one... Sally has seven flowers. And her friend John gave her... Let's say... John gave her... Two more. How many flowers are there now? So let's see what John gave her. So we got a little flower pot here. And one and two. So let's see, remember it's seven here. This is Sally's flowers, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And John gave two more. So that's going to be eight and nine. So how we write that? It's going to be looking like this. We have seven over here. Plus the two. And what does that equal to? Well, we had counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that is equal to nine. Seven plus two is nine. And we sh have, we've shown you right here that seven plus two is equal to nine flowers. Let's add a little more. Let's say um, we know Sally has seven, but her friend John gave her, instead of two more, it's going to be five more. How many flowers are there now? Let's see. We already have two. And we're going to bring in that's four sitting there. And let's bring in this fifth one. Now, how many flowers are there? Now, how many flowers are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that means... That means... This 7... Plus... The 5 over here... Is equal to... 12. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Because we have 12 flowers. We've just shown you right here. Let's get to another example. Okay. Look at this one. So, how many balloons do we see here? Well, Okay, this says I see, I'll put three. I see three balloons. One, two, three. I see three balloons in the sky. And two more 
join them. Let's look at two more balloons. So two more balloons join the original three. Now there are how many balloons in the sky? Well, remember there's three here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So that means now there are five balloons in the sky. Let's write that. So it was three over here plus the two that came in later. So three plus two is equal to five. And we just counted and have shown you that they are indeed five balloons up here. Um, I'll do one more. Okay, we will remove these. And you know what? I will move some more balloons out of here. So, I see, oh, it's one balloon, not balloons. This S needs to disappear. So, I see one balloon in the sky. And, uh, let's see, how many balloons came in later to join? Uh, I will pull in one, two, three, four, five, six. So six balloons, six more join them and actually joined, joined this one balloon. So I see one balloon in the sky and six more join that one balloon. So how many are there floating around in the sky? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what that is saying is one plus the six over here is equal to seven. So that is it for this video. Remember, be sure to check motiontutor.com for learning games and activities relating to this video and other videos. Also, remember to like and subscribe to us so you can be one of the first to know of any new materials that we create. Okay, that's all for now.